Okay, you are watching a little demonstration of Elector's new ADAU1701 Universal Audio DSP board. This board inside this box allows you to create easily many effects, audio effects, um, to have uh, fun with. Analog Devices ADAU1701 DSP chip represents a wonderful way of starting out and experimenting with digital signal processing or DSP. Together with the free development environment from analog devices, also Sigma Studio. The chip is targeted at those who want an easy migration path from all analog audio signal processing designs and moving into the digital domain. Sigma Studio requires no programming, it's just drag and drop pre-built blocks as filters, etc. And there you go. Okay, I will now show you a quick demonstration of how to use a Sigma Studio to create a new effect. I will create a chorus effect. First, you have to Tell Sigma Studio which DSP you are using. You can find this on the left, and it's the ADAU1701. You select it and drag it onto the canvas. We also need an EE PROM, it's an E square PROM, uh, which is on the board and in which we store the program. You also have to drag one of these on the canvas. And finally, to get started, you need an USBI block, which makes the connection between the DSP and the E square PROM. Okay, there we have the blocks. Now we have to connect the dots. We connect the E square PROM to a blue dot. It doesn't really matter which one. And we connect the DSP to another blue dot. There we go. That's the first step. Uh, once you have done this, you must click on the schematic tab to open the schematic where you will draw the actual function. We need inputs. On the left side, we can select from the IO line here, we select an input. And we put it on the board. Uh, like actually, one block has several inputs. We have two inputs on this chip. Uh, we need outputs. On our board, we have four outputs. But for this uh, effect, we will only use two. So I drag two output blocks on the board. And now the really easy part, the chorus effect, which is actually included in Sigma Studio. You can find it under ADI algorithms, then under effects, and then you have a focal chorus. It is not a super duper chorus with lots of options, but it yes. works fine. Oh, a little bit too much to the right. Okay, there we have it. Then we must connect our chorus to an input. It's a mono chorus, so we only have one input. There we go. But it has two outputs. I connect the outputs. And there we are. Our, our effect is ready. We now have to compile it. Uh, to compile the project, we go to the menu bar, uh, open the action uh, option, and then we click link compile download. Now it starts working. This PC is not the fastest uh, in the world. So it takes a little bit of time. Okay, this is a warning that pops up that you can ignore. It is about a link uh, problem, or not a link problem, a program problem. You don't have the hardware to program the board, so you just ignore this. Okay. Okay, once you have compiled your project, you go back to the hardware configuration tab. And now click on the IC1, which is the DSP, and right click, and you select the option write latest compilation to e square prom okay this creates the file that you can program into the e square prom which is called ic2 here so this is the effect that we have now our weird pitch shifter effect i've set up in the meantime the um, development the programming environment to program the ee prom i use an arduino board and I wrote a little sketch that can uh, receive the I square uh, prom files from Sigma Studio and program them into the uh, EEPROM. For this, you use a simple serial terminal program. I use a ter Tera term. You have to set it to 90,200 90, baud. Um, let's reset the Arduino so you can see how it starts up. There you go. It says 
EEPROM found. It is still working. All I have to do now is to look for the file. Okay, this is the file we have now. We have a chorus effect. As you can see, we have some folders here. It was IC2, if you remember, the E, I, uh, the e square prom was IC2. So you go into this folder and there you find the e square prom.hex file. That is the file that you have to send to the uh, Arduino uh, programmer. There we go, you can see in the background that it's uh, programming. It reads back the file that we just programmed. Now it's ready, let's see how it sounds. As you can hear and see, it is completely different than before. A nice chorus effect. The potentiometers here now have no function because the chorus effect used does not have any controllable parameters. And that's it. Now you can program your own uh, effects and have fun with your uh, DSP, your audio DSP board. Thank you for watching. Uh, just to clarify one thing, the connection that I use to connect the Arduino board to the DSP board is nothing more than a one-on-one -on -one cable that I cabled on a piece of PCB. So it's just five pins connected one-on-one, -on -one. nothing special, no magic.